man it's a nice sunny winter day out here and we're uh, checking out this iPilot link again um, today I want to show you one other really cool feature of of this iPilot link system it's called an eye track and what it that allows you to do is to custom build a track for you that you want to fish you can either build it with the outboard the trolling motor you can turn it on and record it while you're fishing and it'll save it to you we're gonna pick up a rod and hill here and we're gonna fish a little bit and see if we can if we can catch something but uh, we're gonna try to build us an eye track to show you exactly what this does and we can sit there and we can just keep continually navigating back and forth we're going to do it with the trolling motor and the bow unit today but you can build one of these with your with your current hummingbird system or we can build it on the unit as we fish now there's Let's a couple different out. ways to record an eye track we can go in here to our our remote and we can hit control and we can hit record and it's going to start doing it for us so we can just sit here we turn the prop on and we're going to record an eye track with our remote. The other way we can do it, we're going to just stop recording here. We're going to discard that information. We're going to turn our prop off. We can go in and hit menu twice. And we're going to come over here to our accessories tab and record an eye track. We can turn it, start recording that. We'll need to hit the prop button to start it. And let's go fishing for a little bit and record a little eye track here. That depth highlight feature, man, that really makes it nice on that Lake Master to see exactly where we're at. You can see we're recording I track three. Now what we want to do is we want to save this eye track and since we're building it on the unit we're going to hit the menu button here and we're going to go down here to stop recording eye track and we're going to save this eye track. Now what I want to do now you can see this is our start and this is our finish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to here lock on my icon there and I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to go to eye track three and I'm going to say I want to navigate to the start because we were at the end so we're going to just going to navigate to the start. Now what the trolling motor does is it's going to turn around, we hit our power back on and it's going to try to get us back to that waypoint that is going to follow that track back. We'll hit exit. And we'll let the trolling motor do the work to keep us back and forth on that same eye track. We're letting the trolling motor do all the work while we're fishing. Man, we got one hooked up here. We put the spot lock on. The little guy in the striped suit there. You can 
can see it making a turn that we did there. The trolling motor is doing all of this steering. You can see we're getting close to the start, but we had an S curve there, so the trolling motor is going to do exactly the way we programmed it to, to operate. We're nearing the end of the, the track, and you can see, and we have arrived there. It's beeped at us, told us we come to the end, and now it has shut the trolling motor down. So, we have navigated back and forth. If you would like to return, you can hit menu, I track three. We're gonna navigate to the end this time. Hit our constant power. We've started the track. And you can sit here and we can return right back and forth. Hope that helps you understand eye tracks a little I, bit more. I pilot the eye track and an amazing tool. If you are fishing a ledge or offshore structure, setting an eye pilot track like that, uh, being able to just sit there and work that area back and forth is really going to make your time more efficient and allow you to concentrate more on how to catch those fish that day than working on how to how to navigate the boat and that's the whole reasoning behind this iPilot link system is to allow you to focus more on catching fish less time on navigating the motor we can see we got it on spot like right now and the trolling motor is doing all the work while we're videotaping uh, the iPilot controller you don't have to ha use it you can do all those functions through the Humminbird electronics that's linked to our trolling motor but both of them are excellent tools. You can buy a little quicker uh, a holder that will hold this up there. You could attach it to there. You could attach it to your console. I've got the standard belt clip that comes with the unit here. I'll just show it to you real quick. It comes with a little snap. You can snap it onto your belt. Unhook this. You've got it right in your hands. It don't take a whole lot to, to make a couple quick adjustments in between casts and you're ready to go, man. Uh, this new this new electric steer trolling motor, the Taroba with the iPilot link, is really going to shape the southern market. I think. I think if you're not getting on board on it, um, it's it's something that you really need to take a look at to check out these features for yourself. Um, if these videos don't help. Watch the Mincota Facebook page, the Humminbird Facebook page, and a lot of times we have people out in the field running around the country that can show you a lot more about our products. We're here to help educate you and teach you more. We're, we're fishermen. All the people up there are outdoorsmen, fishermen themselves, and they want you to get the most out of your time on the water. That's why the great products and great minds come together and make an excellent product like iPilot Link is because they enjoy the time on the water just as much as you and they're, they're working in the office they want to enjoy their limited time on the water just as much as you do thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks and tune in next time as we get more in depth about ways to get more out of your investment and new products hitting the market thank you and have a great day